a cart full of cats. I'm a grease monkey now. <laughs> Try that Jay hook. So, the name of the game this week is gonna be relaxation. We've been quarantined up, we've been stuck at home. So we're going to go to Montana. I'm gonna be meeting up with a friend over there and I'm actually gonna be driving an RV all the way back. So it's gonna be like a, a nice little road trip all the way from uh, Montana to Seattle. And uh, hopefully relaxation, hopefully some birds, maybe we'll see a moose, who knows? Fingers crossed. Terrified of prop planes, by the way. Thank you. Oh, that's not what we want to see. <laughs> All right, well, here I am. Make the best out of it. So we are here in the RV now. Ooh, it's an actual Winnebago from like the 70s. <laughs> I'm stoked. We got like, you know, all the all the carpeted everything. We got like the bed up there. We got the open road ahead of us. So the plan is fill it up with gas. We're working on like the water pump stuff right now. And take a quick brief stop to Walmart, Montana Walmart. We'll see what that's like. Hit the open road and hope she doesn't break down. Because I don't know what I'm doing. We have only managed to go two miles so far, but we are all snacked up. We got a bunch of water, we got a bunch of fruit. Two miles in. We're practically we're practically done with the whole road trip, let's be honest. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. Not sure if you can hear that, <laughs> but we started sputtering. So we pulled over on the side of the freeway and we're gonna go take a look. Same. Time to move the spring loaded door hatch. <laughs> located in the bottom center of it into the down position. Look at that, we're mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Are we out? We're like... <laughs> 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 we have like zero oil, is that a good question? Let me double check. <laughs> We mechanic <laughs> Pretty sure we fixed it. Right. What's the worst that could happen? Five minutes later. All right, so we just had breakdown number two, but we believe we've narrowed it down. I'm not sure if you can see. The coolant is leaking, so we might need like a new radiator tank. There she is. Uh... <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna sleep. Just go to sleep. Wake up in the morning. We're gonna deal with this tomorrow. Deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> That's the plan. Deal with it in the morning, and we'll see you then. All right, update time. The plan is we're gonna flip the RV, not physically, <laughs> but commercially. So we're gonna pop it up on Craigslist, pop it up on Facebook Marketplace, try to sell the RV for three thousand or whatever dollars, tow it with AAA to the place, and then buy a beater car and then drive the beater car back to Seattle. Will it work? I don't know, but we're vibing. It's sunny-ish, and we're gonna make it work. <laughs> uh. So, plan B was the triple A. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but, I guess they have some random hidden claws that they don't tell you before you buy. There's like a five day waiting period. Um, I... <laughs> Let me look at the email really fast. Plan C! 
Hello there, my name is How Balcom, and I'm really interested in the 1,009, wait, the 19,810 Tasco Winnebago. 19,000. <laughs> says I can have the full price to you listed within a couple of weeks, so everything checks out, and decide to move forward. Obviously, we don't have a couple of weeks to wait, but that's why they invented payment plans. <laughs> So we might just be able to flip this thing yet. So we're gonna go like with a nice little mash of plan B, plan C. I like to call it plan speed. Meanwhile, there's everything we got left. <laughs> we're gonna be dropping the RV off at Walmart and then, I don't really know. We're gonna, we're gonna go with the flow and see what happens after that. All right, we're gonna hop in here and pop this e-brake. YouTube, I don't know, I just never in my life thought I would have an RV in a Walmart that we've got <laughs> a cart full of cats that we're playing. <laughs> like, this is a life I never thought I was going to have. There's a secret way to start the generator. The next step of the plan is anime. Anime makes everything better. So the next day we decided to try to rent a car. So Kitty went into the Enterprise nearby and I was on the phone also trying to get a hold of them. Got that hold music. Because on the website it said you did not need a credit card, but in person they said that you did. We did not have one with us. So I was on the phone for about five minutes. And once I finally got a hold of somebody, they actually hung up on me. And I double checked just to make sure that they did in fact hang up on me. And yes, they did. So then we decided to check out some other rent-a-car places and see if they worked out. Hertz needed a credit card. As did Avis, as did Budget, as did Alamo. And yes, Enterprise. So we had to hop in the Uber and make our way back to the RV so that we could get it towed away from the Walmart. And I got to hell. I'm gonna loop around that drive shaft and uh I'm a grease monkey now. <laughs> now I'm hooked. <laughs> So is there like a place that I get to go to now where I pick up my Greek monkey certification? Or is that like... <laughs> I think they do them online, don't they? Alright, right, plan E. We're looking at the flights here. All seven of them. Two of them to Seattle. And we're gonna check pet policies. And we've got more... more hold music. Yeah. <laughs> at least we're vibing. The airplane plan didn't work out. <laughs> they are no longer in a feasible price range. So now we're hitching a ride to Clancy. I don't know where that is, somewhere. And we're going to be trying to pick up a 90, a 98 Acura Beater and a Cruiser all the way to Seattle. That's the plan. So until then, we're gonna take a little nap. All right, plan, I don't know, FG was a success. We are the proud owners of this fine new Acura. The only problem with it is it hit a deer and it's missing an exhaust and the door doesn't close but there's like a little latch thing and the stereo isn't attached. We have a speaker <laughs> so we can work around that. But uh, other than that, we took her for a test drive. She runs fine. She's not leaking any immediate fluids and uh, she, she's gonna make it. She's gonna make it, so. See, door isn't even an issue. Look at that, that looks fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. The first startup of the brand new Peter car. So far, so good. So far, so good. Woo! Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you just didn't even hold it long enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're good to go. On our way. Look at that, only 250. Like, I feel like miles. you should prove to them it actually turned out better than that. Alright, it is currently 6.15 a.m. Sunny day. Haven't slept, been driving all night. 
Peter's doing well. She's doing a good job. We're alive. Nothing has happened. Everything's good. We're only a couple hours away from home. And then, why is this on 50? And then, after that, it's uh, straight to Oregon. All right, so ended up driving 12 hours straight from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. all the way back to Washington and uh, couldn't really record much because there wasn't much else that happened. It was just kind of driving and nothing. So uh, we made it home safe, seven out of 10. Wouldn't recommend, but might do again. <laughs> This is the part of the YouTube video where I would read some comments from last time's video, but unfortunately didn't really get a lot of comments that were asking questions or, or saying anything like that. So if you guys want to have a chance of your comment being read in the next video, make sure you drop a question or something down below or just call me an idiot. Sometimes I'll read those out too. So appreciate you, much love, and uh, time to sleep. I've never felt this way before And now I know this all for sure I won't forget your last betray I'll never forget the